<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Silent Hill 2, but not the main game because we finished that. We're doing the sub scenario, Born from a Wish. Hello, I'm still here. She's still here. We're we're doing this. You only get the action level to pick from difficulty. Because there's probably like no puzzles. It, it's essentially DLC, but because yeah. this is PlayStation 2, you didn't have the internet thing. I'm gonna do it on normal just because uh, I don't think there's really any bearing. I mean, I, I could I'm probably do it on hard, but I don't want to do it. I don't it on really hard. get the appeal of doing things on hard. All it is is that it takes more time. It's bragging rights. Fuck bragging it's rights. It's bragging rights, sis. Fuck it. Okay. Look, we got up, we got I character development. When I woke up, I was all alone. Everyone's gone. Is it because of those monsters? What do I do now? Do I fight and live? Or do those monsters get me? I don't have any reason to go on living. But... But I'm scared to die. I'm so afraid of pain. Should I... run away? I want to find... Somebody. Uh, I don't like being alone. But... But is there anyone left alive? Mary has a pink nose! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so insensitive. No, it's fine. Mary. So Mary has a big nose because, you know, Maria, she has a big nose. The two, but, the two are linked like that, you know. They, you they could be identical. Clo the close-up of these clothes, oh god, nothing like looking like a prostitute. Well, I mean, the I bottom mean, half looks like a prostitute, but the top half, if it was fully buttoned, it looked like a, be a nice sweatshirt. Yeah, that's. Granted, her cool. belly button's exposed, so it's like, I don't know. But we start off in uh, Heaven's Night, and uh, did I mention it's really dark? Yeah, I think though, if it was fully buttoned and if she had like a camisole underneath. Also, I, I gotta, I gotta make weird. sure I'm. I never doing noticed that little tattoo on her stomach either. Yeah. Uh, one second, viewers. I, I need to turn up the brightness. Okay. All right. Uh, I apologize. It was a little dark. Um, as far as I know, a lot of this is pretty dark, and poorly lit corridor parts. But at the same time, it shouldn't really affect you, the viewers, because everything should be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. When they're viewing stuff. Um, it's more based on your own yeah. screen, so if it's too dark, brighten your screen up. I mean, like, it, it's fine. It's fine on the screen. It, it's just, uh, on, on your TV. It's, it's a little dark. Anyways, we got a cleaver. I, I, I'm fine with that. Maria gets a cleaver. You know, this, this is a real huge contradiction from, uh, Maria in the story as opposed to this DLC scenario. Because, you know, Maria, she encounters things and she fights. Or, well, I guess it's more subjective as you can choose to fight things. I, I'm just saying, like, in, in the game scenario, she doesn't do shit. She does. She does jack shit. She's like, I'm a helpless person. James, your man, save me. James, help me out. So this uh, this takes place after. No, this takes place before. Okay, it takes place before. Way before. Because, I mean, like, uh, we we killed Maria. And, I mean, like, even look if we those, didn't, if we had those to... red sole shoes. Are those, um, what, it's Jimmy Choo's, I think, that has the red sole. Those are some bucks. I mean, I, I guess. I, I'm just saying, like, uh... Or is it... Also, she doesn't want to go in places. Point in case th this soul. is this is the hospital. She's like, there's nothing for me to do here. She don't want to go there. I think it's Jimmy Choo's that have the red souls. I can't remember. Also, you can choose whether or not you want to fight or uh, run away. Personally, I'm, I'm just going to run away. I'm pretty sure those boots have heels, like some serious heels. How is she running? Um, How why is it freeze? What is, what is going on with this game? How the fuck is she running in those heels? Uh, I mean... Have you ever tried running in heels? I don't wear heels. 
I mean, um, see, there's there's a huge disconnect in, in logic here. See, I'm I'm thinking about what I gotta do next. You're thinking about why is she running in heels? I mean, you're right. She shouldn't be able to do this, but you know, uh, really, I mean, we we've talked people. about Maria. You know, she's she's not exactly like. A... There's some people that can run really well in heels. I'm not. Well, then you know, Maria, she she can run well in heels. Then how is she not breaking her ankle though? Uh, cause she's not real. Sort of. I don't really know. She. This seems to depict she's more human than she lets on. Also, that thing. Fuck that thing. I can't yeah, kill I it. It just. It just makes spooky sounds. I hate those things. I call them brother. Yeah. Spooky as fuck. Lying figures. I think that's what they're called. It, it doesn't matter. Point is, uh, there's not really a whole lot to explore. Well, actually, there is, but there's not a huge reason to explore. Like we went through this area as James, but honestly, there's, there's like nothing really to see. You'd think there would be, but, like, it, it's just empty, except from maybe some enemies, which she I don't want to fight. She move as she runs. She must have some serious product going on. I mean, I, I guess. Uh, I, I think I, there's I a lot of emphasis on the butt, <laughs> if you ask me. <laughs> okay, that just goes to show the difference of where we're looking. Yeah, I, I mean, didn't notice that at all. I, I don't know. I, I guess I I'm just a chauvinist to get. You're, you're focused on the hills. Well, I wasn't even focused on the butt until, well, like, you started. You I, well, now I am because, you know, you're bringing up hills. Personally, I was like, uh, I, I have to go to the next place. Also, there's a lot of gore. And, yeah, and then. I think she's. That looks like it's supposed to be a pencil skirt, but she her legs can move entirely it, too much. I don't know. I'm, honestly, if you if you want to talk about the skirt, it's all leopard print. I'm I'm not a fan of leopard print. I mean, it's hot pink leopard print. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of ugly if you ask me, but that's my opinion. Also, this truck has revolver bullets and a, and a first aid kit, which is kind of cool. I, I get oh mannequins. Uh, by the way, mannequins hardest enemy in this whole entire scenario. Really? We won't run into like the the bed daddy enemies. Um, that's not their names. Well, I just makes, call them that bed makes daddies. Sense that you wouldn't see that because that's more part of the Angela. Yeah, but I mean James encounters that. I, yeah, I'm just but saying. Yeah, James encounters that after meeting Angela. Yeah, but here's the thing. A lot of what you see is representative of James's Silent Hill. It, it's like we're we're trapped inside James's but she Silent was Hill. Born in a sense, from James to Silent Hill. Was she really, though? Because James isn't here. As far as we know, he yeah, hasn't even made it. Yeah, but towards here, which means oh, yeah. love is building up and getting ready for him. But so, she, but you notice how she says no one's left as as if to say, you know, she she know, she knew there was people? Hmm, I hadn't noticed that. I mean, she, she in the prologue, it was saying, you know, she's all alone and she's scared to be alone. She doesn't want to be alone. Which I think is also kind of reflective on Mary when you get down to it because, you know, she was having some serious abandonment issues. Yeah, she was like, go leave, and then she's like, wait, I don't want to be alone Yeah. at the end of the game. Uh, Baldwin House, that's where we're at. We're, well, I guess it's more of a mansion, which is interesting because if I think mansion and horror survival, I think of Resident Evil, and so... And for me, I think of Clock Tower. Yeah, well, I mean, to me, this is very Resident Evil-esque. I'm still thinking Clock Tower. Also, a shitload of revolver Clock Tower bullets. 3 was scary as fuck. Yeah, I'm Clock going Tower with... 2 was scary as fuck. Was it really, though? Yes, that little ma mass child laughing bitch thing. It, it was really janky, though. I mean, <laughs> let me put it, it this way. It did not age very well. No, it didn't age at all. It, well, at all. It, okay. Well, sorry to interrupt the cutscene. Is somebody there? Open up. Hello? Stop it. You're disturbing me. Oh, thank God. I finally found somebody. Can you open the door? No. But why? Is it really necessary for me to answer all your tedious questions? Yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. I want to be alone. Other people just irritate me. I just 
I want to see another human face. Do you know what's happening in this town? There's no one here. Just monsters. Yes, I know. But so what? It has nothing to do with me. No one here means there's no one to disturb me. You want to be alone in this insane asylum? Yes, exactly. But how can you say that it's this town that's insane? Perhaps it is we who are insane. Both of us, hopelessly insane. Are you satisfied? Would you leave me alone? My name is... is... Maria. What's your name? Ernest. Hemingway? Baldwin. Ernest, I'll be back. Uh, there's an actor, Alex Baldwin. No. Anyways, you were saying, like, uh... Oh, so uh, that interesting bit about how this is to say it's the town that's insane, that's actually a really interesting perspective on Silent Hill, if you think about it. Oh, yeah. Is Silent Hill really the one that is like this, or is, are we seeing other people's thought uh well i mean based on silent hill one and and this scenario i'd say that's that's very possible but i mean that I, I was thinking you were going to go about the whole aspect that you know uh since we're the ones that are seeing monsters and you seem to think that they're real which is debatable i, mean, I would not hold it against anyone uh, i'm just gonna shoot this guy because uh you know fuck this thing <laughs> uh, but point is, you know, maybe we are insane because, you know, we're seeing monsters and shit and we're being spooked out. Hell, Maria doesn't want to be left alone. No, I'm thinking that the... Considering, are we seeing this... Are we seeing the world as it is or are we seeing it colored by the character who's narrating? And I was because just thinking, why are we seeing monsters? This basically is a narration from that character's point of view. That's what a game is. It's a narration from a particular point of view. You can decide it's whether up. it's omnipotent or third person. Sometimes it's first person, sometimes it's like this, where it seems to be um, second person. Mm -hmm. Also, this thing didn't want me to go down. I went down. It's actually pretty nice here. Very lush, very vibrant. I, I kind of like it. Yeah. I got the black It's a board. very stark contrast to the dead oh, absolutely. of Silent Hill. But here's the interesting thing to all that. You see, there's a grave. There's a square depression in the center of the tombstone. And above that is carefully... Uh, it's a carefully called... It's an epitaph. Along with you died joy. All that remains is despair and a future of meaningless tomorrows. But I will never give up. One to see your beautiful smile again. One to beg the blessings of the gods. I wait for that day when all the boards cover all the sadness. Which, by the way, that's the screen thing. Uh, sadness, too. I will be covered, but until my dreams return to reality, I will have to swallow all the pain. We can't get it. I can't pull it out. Yeah, pretty much, you know. Uh, so th this is really our only puzzle. I, I hate to spoil that, but there's really no getting around that. It's just this. This is the only puzzle right here. By the way, all the boards have an item that you can get in the second playthrough, and if I remember correctly, their items need to resurrect Mary. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Also, we will be seeing the white fluid bottle thing that's in that board in this thing. Also, I happen to know the solution. So I'm, I'm yeah, just... Yeah, you just, you just happen to know. I, I, I had to work through it a lot. 
but I figured it out. See, we covered all the sadness. There's there's no sadness. Oh, okay. We're we're happy, you know. We we did the thing. Um and so yeah, we got the key. I happen to know where that key goes. So uh, well, I would hope you would know where it goes. I mean, it, it's what there's really like I said, there's a lot like everything looks pretty immensive. It's too bad that that room doesn't have more to do with anything other than just that little puzzle. That that's, that's really the only puzzle too. It's an interesting space too, given how dead everything is in Silent Hill. And how empty this whole entire large house is. And how undead everything is. You have this one really natural, vibrant space. Which is very Resident Evil esque, as I said, or Clock Tower esque. I mean, that, that's a good point there too. I, I can't really deny. It, like there, there's some clock tower going. Personally, I like the first clock tower, because uh, uh, depends on what you define. the the SNES clock okay. tower. I guess okay. the Japanese only tile. The because I tend to combine clock towers. The, and then there's the PS One version, which isn't that kind of like it's uh, actually, it happens after. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's technically a sequel. Um, I consider both the SNES version and the PlayStation version to be kind of one in the same game. Well, not one in the same, but two parts of one game, if that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, uh, they kind of are, because then you have Clock Tower 2, which uh, has no relation with the first one. No, and that, it doesn't even, it's strange. And then you have Clock Tower 3, which is just so strange on so many levels. I got matches, and um, the shelf is filled with fairy tales and other children literature. Uh, also, a doll. That's not the doll. A doll sitting on the chair. Now that I look closely, it or closer, it's filthy. Whoever lived here must have really loved this thing. So, you know, so again, it's another, a love doll. But again, another innocent space in an otherwise very dark. Oh, you want dark? Believe me, there's dark. It's gonna happen out of nowhere. Cause even even so, I mean, oh, it, God, you have so that really natural vibrant space and followed by an innocence. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. There was just a really quiet, or not really quiet, but there was just a voice clip right there. All oh, right, I can't see anything because uh, she doesn't have a flashlight, unlike James. You know, we don't encounter that. What we have is matches. You gotta use match. It's like that one puzzle in the hotel room, you know, the one with the light bulb, the really the stupid one. The thing is, one. though, is that candles don't give off that much light, especially one measly small candle. It but doesn't give off that much light. Video game logic. There's something below the chair. Is it a birthday card? To my dearest daddy, happy birthday from Amy Baldwin. Child room. Uh, they were... There was a little voice clip that talked about someone falling out of a window. Um, you know, happy birthday, Dad. Give it. Creepy voice clip. Give it. To my daddy. I couldn't exit the door until I until I heard that. So with that So now we have to go back. Now we have to go man. back, talk to the talk to the dude. Also oh, God, avoid that this. The shit out of me. Yeah. Uh, enemies have now kind of respawned in certain locations. I hate that bullshit. Once you defeat an enemy, it should just stay dead. Oh, that, that wasn't something we encountered. That was something that spawned now that we got the card. Uh, that, that's the enemy we killed right there. Oh, gotcha. Uh, but, yeah, basically, now there's, like, that enemy in the other hallway, which we don't have to deal with. There's, uh, that guy right there, which, that would scare me. Because, you don't expect it. It's right there staring at you in the face i'm just gonna avoid it but yeah we, we were like talking to the guy he's not here but there is a book full of plants yeah plant encyclopedia Ar arsina Ars <laughs> Ar 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 <laughs> whatever Ar it, I don't know. it's a genus of green it's evergreen Akasha. trees Akasha? Akasha. Akasha. oh maybe Th I don't know. thanks Thanks. Thank Where's you. November, sister? <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know how to. Uh, to I don't know. Okay, it, it's okay. an anime thing. That's how people. That's how like you know siblings of main characters, like supporting cast, refer to the person. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. A genus of evergreen trees in the mimosa tribe of pea family. It's a. It's tiny flowers are yellow white. Okay. Does anyone care? 
No. That, that's kind of boring, but I mean, they're, they're yeah, so they're poet symbols. In Christianity, it represents eternal life and morality. I mean, really, that's what you have to know in ancient, in ancient Egypt, Egypt. It represents purity and rebirth. In ancient Babylonia, it was thought to be the tree of the goddess Ishtar. Eternal, um, or life. Life, holy tree, ancient Jews. Yeah. Heaven, peaceful death and release from grief. I mean... So, uh, basically, a lot of the themes in that were in Silent Hill 2. I think it's also kind of trying to symbolize, you know, the, uh, the, the fourth ending that you can unlock. Yeah. Um, because, I mean, a, a lot of this actually does kind of play into it. It, it, it. The whole thing is very much about rebirth. It is. Uh, which, which I think is fine. Also, Beatles. Uh, that has nothing to do with any of this. It's just, whoa. Oh, God. That was really, really janky. Um, I don't know what else to say other than, um, that, that was really graphically weird. Yeah, it uh, clipped through the wall. Uh, it, 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 like, popped out of nowhere. Yeah. I, I gotta look at the map because I forget where to go. Let's see. Uh, we need that stairwell. A lot of the doors are locked. I mean, given the fact that you're you look at this and it's like huge and massive, but most of the doors are locked. Like you will never have to go into a lot of these doors. Uh, it's it's Which very is linear. And I don't like. Also, there there is a there's an enemy down here, which is kind of weird because whenever you see stairs, uh, not really a whole lot of enemy placement, but. At the same time, like here, this guy is just chilling right there. Um, I'm trying to find the door. I found it. But at the same time, you know, it's just, it's, he's just there chilling. I don't really care too much. I don't think you do either. No, not particularly. Yeah. Uh, I think that is a revolver bullets. See, I could use the cleaver, but I find uh, the game loads you up on so many bullets that it's kind of like, just use it. Better be safe than sorry, you know? Yep. Also, uh, it loads you up on health items, which I think is kind of cool too, but uh, kind of pointless to, to a certain degree, if I do say so myself. Also, well, there... not if you're like me, who's the type of person that's like, I can't handle there being enemies, so I just kill everything. Which I, I think I is fine. Aim, yeah. So I waste a lot of shit. So here's another interesting feature. When you save, you get creepy Maria's face just like there, kind of like James, except you notice the background's not like r blood red. Yeah. It's just black. Yeah, because she's a non-person. She, she, it's very null. Because if we learned one thing, it's that... Uh, that Vibrant red can represent life, and that's why the uh, or blood. I mean, blood. Blood is very lifelike. Yeah, but blood, blood is it, it's like about blood you get. Uh, I, I killed it. That that's awesome. See, those things are really hard to kill when they're when they're on the ground because they they have like a second form which relates to that. Uh, personally, I'm just trying to kill everything that I can because. Uh, but I mean, if we just take a look at the juxtaposition between. James, who had the vibrant red background, and Mary or Maria, who has a black background, that kind of seems to symbolize that she's a non-entity, that she isn't life. She's, she's stuck in the void. Yes. Uh, by the way, do you like Eldritch Horror? I try to get into it, actually. I only bring this up because uh, this file here seems to kind of depict something along those lines. So, Lost Memories, I have the strongest trust. You may even call it faith in the miracle called Resurrection of the Dead. Upon the hill where the light descended, a beast, or the beast intoned his song with words of blood, drops of mist, and the vessel of night. The grave become an open field which is kind of weird, I don't know. Uh, the people wept in fear and joy at the reunion, but my faith in the salvation of... That did, did that looks like an Eldritch God. I'm going. I'm, yeah. I'm calling it. This has to do with, with the Call of Cthulhu. Zushil Baba. This, this Eldritch God. It, it, Illuminati yeah. confirmed. Wait. D did not waver. Eldritch El 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 God typically referred to Cthulhu? Yeah, or that something else. The, uh... The, um, Lovecraftian horror. Yeah. Yeah. Illuminati confirmed. Technically, Eldrick, I believe... They're the same believe. thing. No, Eldrick is an actual word. Oh, absolutely. It's, uh, it is also spoken in 
the ancient legends, the ancient love legends, Lovecraftian horror, baby. Yeah, the original worshippers did not believe that death was the end, but it was simply the path yeah. by which the deceased returned to the nature. They also believed, and the process was reversible. Fun fact: uh, Eldrick is an old English word. Uh, Used to describe otherworldly, often meaning weird, ghostly, or uncanny. So, uh, you know, blood Night equals red. red Mist equals white. Night, Night equals, equals black. black. Isn't this referring to the plates that you got? Yeah, yeah. It also black. refers to the uh, the second or the the uh, the other ending where you revive Mary. Um, also, I find it interesting. They they say night equals black, and I mean Maria's Maria's background was black james so, is red and mary was dressed in white yeah so hey you, you got the weird trini trinity um i i can't say whether or not that's holy or not do you know a little girl named amy why do you ask me that this letter to my dearest daddy it's from a girl named Amy Baldwin? Your daddy. Yes. Where'd you find that? Up in the attic. Oh. What a fool. Now, when it's too late. I finally understand why. <laughs> why she was there. Why she was holding that empty envelope when she... when she fell. Ernest. Amy. She isn't... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I reminded you. No need to apologize. You didn't remind me. I've never forgotten. Maria, some things we forget. And some things we can never forget. It's funny. I'm not sure which one is sadder. It's been ten years, but I still... Ernest, I'm sorry. I didn't know. No, it's fine. Maria, that letter... I'll leave it here. Thanks. So, you must be... That's why... That's why you could see me. Huh? So, perhaps that means that I can hope for a miracle as well. What do you mean? Woo! That, that was fun and interesting. Uh, Lara, Lara's gone for a second, but she's, she's going to be back. I have the coat. She has the coat. Uh, no one knows what the coat is, but that's fine. That, it, that's a mystery, and it will remain a mystery. Yeah. I leave you to... That That's fine. It's all right. Yeah. So we got a new objective. We got we got a new objective. We're just going to finish it. We're almost done, believe it or not. Uh, I, I decided this is just going to be one long scenario, just because there's really no reason to cut it. Yeah. I mean, I guess you could, but... I, I I guess it's kind of regardless. It doesn't matter. I, I don't care. Do you care? No. I, I didn't care. think you... I didn't think you did. Anyways. Uh, yeah, so we, we really only have, like, one objective to do, and we gotta find a, a mysterious white liquid, which was kind of in the plate. 
Well, that it's reminds a, me of, it's also an item uh, that we have to I get. I have no mouth and I must scream, which is another great horror game. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. So you know, this, this is a plate. It was it's by uh, it's about A.B. Baldwin. How she was taken away. Also Beatles. You know the Beatles. I, I don't like the Beatles. They just come up and they damage you. It's not fun. Uh, that one that one was a dick. It just it. Oh, there was two <laughs> of them. Uh, this game has a lot of moments like that. They're they're probably the weakest and the the worst enemies at the same time, just because you can't really deal with them. But at the same time, uh, I don't know. You can press the X button and it tends to take care of them right there and then. It it doesn't matter. It's pointless to really go on about it. It's it's done. So you want to know where we're going? Yeah. The apartments. The apartments. The apartments. Also, keep out of the haunted mansion. Is that foreshadowing? Maybe. Uh, if you can, if you can guess what you think is behind the door, because we might open it. We'll find out in a second. Place your bets. Also, we're in the apartments. Also, massive slowdown. Uh, something really pointless that you can do. And I'm gonna do it anyways. You can't go into that door in the second floor, but we're in the Blue Creek Apartments. It wasn't the first set of apartments, it was the second one. It was the one uh, where you get to fight Pyramid Head. Oh, right, okay. Yes, yeah, now it's ringing a bell, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, really, there's there's nothing to do here except for one thing. Y you're going to find it hilarious, or at least I think you would. I find it hilarious. See, we only have to go into one room, and that room, my dear friends, my dear viewers, is not that room. It's actually this room. I thought it was the other room. I thought it was the other room, but it, it's not. It's this room. Uh, this was the room with the coin puzzle. Oh, okay. You, like you get it. the first aid kit, you get the health drink. But I, I think when you're playing James in the second version, you can get the white fluid here. Oh, gotcha. Okay. In this one, you have to go to the dresser, and there's a small thing, but there's a vial of white liquid. That's it. That's it? That's it. We're Now we're on the... Uh, now we're on the path to finishing this whole scenario. Wow. That that that's all. That was that just seems like such a waste of a player's time. You, you might you might be wondering what is the final boss? Well, I, I must say. Oh, there's a boss in this section. Uh, it's it's subjective. Is it like actual boss boss or third of boss? I mean, um, that that was kind of it. Uh, this guy that that's the final boss. Um, when we go into the basement, like right now. Uh, we're gonna fight those beetles. Well, we can fight those beetles. That I mean, that that's, I guess, really what you could depict as the final <laughs> boss. Uh, your patience, I think, is really the most symbolism of the boss. Um, I, I think I took care of the beetles, so I think the beetles are are done. Um, I didn't really use a whole lot of health items. I, I think I used the one, but yeah, that basically, uh, I don't. I think that I think that was the final boss. Everybody, that was like the final boss. It's very objective. I, I don't know what that's saying about the player or like the symbolism. I, I like to think it represents something, but I can't really I can't really say because you know it, it's all it's all subjective. It's all subjective. I have more than enough bullets. So in order to finish the game, basically, we just have to go back to the room. You know the, you know that one room. Yeah. The guy's like, I need the white fluid, and you're like, I'll get the white fluid. This seems so fucking stupid. Well, I mean, a lot of it, I think, has to deal with character development with, with Maria to kind of widen her perspective instead of being like um, super attached to James. Clingy. Gotcha. More Maria, or more Mary than you, Mary. Maria. That's the only item I couldn't get myself. By the time I found out about it, I could no longer leave this house. So long. Yes, but we'll... Maria, the gods are here. You know it too. You were born in this town. I'm not sure God is the right word.
Do you believe in fate? Not really. That's fine, then. Ernest, can I open this? This is a dead end. There's nothing beyond here. I know. So, what if I'd said I believed in fate? That James... He's a bad man. James? He... Yes. I know. He's looking for the you that isn't you. Because he's kind. Do you know something? Yes. Maria, you're... Anyway, that's just what you think. You don't really know anything. That's fine. Okay. Oh, what's behind the door? What's behind nothing, the door? Nothing, nothing is behind the door. It was a ghost the whole time. Honestly, if you ask me, I don't, I don't, it, it's up for speculation, interdimensional being. Uh, what was- The room itself, as was in it? number four. <laughs> I mean, there you go. I mean, all I'm saying is ghosts have been proven to be real. The room signified that. I, I'm gonna say the room was like number four. It's like. Number oh four. yeah, maybe it was. Maybe before she opened the door, it was like the the doorway to the other the afterlife. Yeah. And so it was a ghost, but at the same time she couldn't open the door because the guy was like forcing it. But now he passed because you know he was saying, um, it was the only item I couldn't get. That, or maybe he's been reborn. Because he got the other items, so, you know, completely possible. Yeah. I doubt it, though. I don't... I, I, it's very subjective. I, I don't think we'll ever really get an answer. Is there anything after this, or is this... Uh, I mean, like... This, this is the ending. This is the ending? This is the ending. Uh, I say screw it, cause I, I'm I I don't know I feel I'm feeling a little awkward about this whole entire thing. Like it, it's like a letdown, but at the same time, I kind of like it for the whole character perspective on Maria. But I mean, like, do you care? No, I don't. I have to. I don't even really care for this whole sub section. I mean, you you were in a mansion. It was very Silent Hill slash Clock Tower esque. That that that's what I have to say about it. No, I didn't, I didn't particularly care for this. You didn't care for... Well, that's that's fine. I mean, in terms of Maria, I didn't really care much about her in the first place. Also, she was the final boss, so uh, what the guy said about James being a bad man. Mm, that's true. Yeah. Although, it does contradict the whole Maria ending where James and her leave together. Yeah. So, I don't know. I guess it's up for debate. We'll never get a clear answer. Uh... But here's what I find interesting. See, she, she's contemplating. And with this gun, she'll summon her own persona. If only. If only, right? Uh, actually, no. Now that she has... Now that she has that little piece of the puzzle, James. Now that, now that this name's been introduced, she has a whole new meaning on life. She understands. She has clarity. To be a stupid, a stupid escort mission. Why would you throw the fucking gun away, though? She was useless in the main scenario, so obviously they had to give a reason. Although she still has the cleaver, technically, so I, I don't know. She's useless. She's useless. I'm sorry. How stupid but do you have to throw away that fucking gun? She she has a cleaver, which she never it uses. Make a damn bit of difference. It, it you don't doesn't. Throw away the, you don't throw away the fucking 
we got? There's monsters about. I'm just gonna huck this cause it reminds me of suicide. Which is not a joking matter. I'm just saying, like, um... No. no. Wait, Do what? Do I look like your girlfriend? Oh, right. It's from... It's from yeah, it's just tying it's recycling it the dialogue it's from when, uh... She mean? met James. I'm sorry if this is kind of ruining everything, but that that was the submission where you're like, I'm Maria. I'm a... I'm a I, I actually act like a person. Oh, wait, no, I don't, because I de-evolved as a character when I meet James. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. I didn't even care for this subsidiary. Like, the problem is, just, like, it builds her up to actually be more than just, like, this this piece of James. As, I, as I've been joking about, she's more Mary than Mary. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, all that, like, all that kind of de-evolves once you get into the main story where she's just, like, this, this ball and chain to James, where it's like... She's an escort mission. I think it she plays, doesn't do anything. And I think it plays up her desperation in this, and you don't really see her desperation a whole lot. Well, I mean, like, you do, but it's it's not, like, the in the right sense. Her desperation is very human-esque in this whole scenario, because she's like, I'm lonely. I I, I just want I just want a friend. But where did she get that medicine? I mean, see? like, where did she get the key? Yeah. I, I can only assume she had it on her person, and we just didn't see it in the inventory, which is... Yeah, it's stupid, but I, I don't really have an answer for it. Also, can I? Can I? Can I? I, I know she has that collar. <clears throat> Something I noticed. Do you think that's symbolic about like you know James being like the owner, like some sort of ownerships, like I, something about I, the relationship? I think it can be either one of two things. It can tie to James, or it can be tied to Silent Hill. Like she's she's trapped. Well, she leaves in the one ending. Does she still have the color on? I don't. I don't remember. I'd have to see it. I mean, I would think it'd be worth looking at that ending again just to see if she does. Yeah, I, I'm still checking it up. So I think it's like some sort of relationship to James. Like, uh, she, she she has a strong dependency on James, and in turn, it's kind of like uh, James is kind of like the owner or like the dominant one in that relationship. Yeah. Cause I mean that that's kind of that's kind of the whole thing about like the collar, right? It's like a sign of ownership. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't really know. I don't really have anything else to go on about this. This, oh, see, this is the best part in my opinion. That and the elevator scene. Um, if I had to say anything, it, it, yeah. Also, she has two different colored irises. Yeah. I, I've noticed that. It's it's kind of weird. I don't, I don't know if that's symbolic or. What have you? I don't, Probably I, don't, is. I don't know what to make of Maria, quite frankly. Also, I'm she's more Mary than Mary. <laughs> I'm never gonna get over that. Uh, other than that, I mean, uh, you didn't like it. I didn't like it. Bone, still creepy, still creepy. I guess I'm gonna end it here. Yep. The There's not really ending. much else to say. So I might as well say bye bye. Bye bye.